All right, guys, what is up, everyone? Welcome to my very first podcast, video podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, I'm actually really excited to do this. I've been planning on doing a podcast for quite a while now, to be quite honest. I remember thinking for months of wanting to do it, but I just never initiated doing it. I, I did just buy this mic that you're looking at right now. I bought the Shure SM7B microphone, professional microphone, but I've actually had a recording studio mic for a while, but for some reason, I didn't think that was good enough. I don't know why. So I might return this. So let me know what you think of this sound quality. Uh, let me know what you think about that. But today, if you're here, you want to know, is the end of the computer science degree coming? <laughs> now, if you're watching this, I'm sure you're wondering, like, Chris, what the heck are you doing, man? <laughs> Why are you talking about this? It's not, it's not dying. I mean, it's true. I agree. The computer science degree is important because it's because of the computer science degree. We do have the engineers we have today. We've been able to create what we have today. But the question then is, what do I mean then? when it comes to the end of the computer science degree is it really coming to an end no it's not but to be quite honest from my experience of literally being able to talk to hundreds of people all around the world hundreds and if not even a thousand thousand or more if not two thousand i've been able to speak to engineers software engineers web developers all over the world i've been able to speak to ceos to to let's say who else um, i've been able to speak to ctos i've been able to speak to presidents of companies and what's one thing in common that i've noticed after speaking with many of them now i'm not saying all of them think this but most of them do is that when they when i talk and it's that when i talk to them about Anything that comes to a degree, is that really important when it comes to an engineer, a software developer, a web developer, a front engineer, back end engineer, iOS developer, you know, Android, Java developer, whatever it is, Swift. Most of them are stated that a CS degree <laughs> really isn't that important. Meaning, now, what a CS degree does is that it, it, it helps you prove that you know how to program. That you know how to write programs, that you know how to write in code, that you understand in code, that you're able to persevere and write an app, that you could learn a new language is important. But that's it. Now, there might be some projects that you do at that college that will make you succeed in the world. But not all colleges are like that either, and which is why like Stanford, is Berkeley, UC Berkeley, uh, UCLA or et cetera, these big schools, right? Are, have such coveted engineers because they tend to produce the best of the best engineers, which makes total sense. But for the 99% of us that don't go there, does that mean it's the end for us? No, it doesn't. And from my personal experience and my own negative thinking, my own thoughts, I remember always thinking, man, maybe this isn't meant for me. Actually, even just last night, even just last night, I spoke with my mentor from Amazon Arlo, what's up, bro? And we, I, I pretty much shared with him how I feel so behind in everything as an engineer. What's interesting is because ever since starting this YouTube channel that I have, like, I've been able to inspire hundreds of people, if not actually thousands of people, to become engineers. And then with the few people I've been able to speak from that, many of them have far past succeeded what I've been able to do as an engineer. Many of them have. Many of them have been able to learn more languages and do more things with their career. And for me, at times, it could be discouraging. And, and that's because the time that I put into YouTube, like thousands of hours of editing, hundreds of hours of filming, hundreds of hours of learning, hundreds of hours of responding to comments, thinking of thumbnail pictures, thinking of Instagram posts, Twitter posts, everything that I put in the web. All of that time, if I was to put into coding instead, I would be a much more better programmer. And so I was talking to him about how I feel so discouraged because I should be better, but I'm not. And because of social media. But at the same time, I'm very thankful because although everyone is getting better as engineers, I also am doing something that many of them want to be able to do, which is have a presence on the internet and to be able to inspire many. While some people are making apps that can make a difference in the world or some people's lives, I've been very fortunate to be able to inspire many. But yeah, I was telling him how I feel so discouraged and how 
man, like it sucks sometimes. And I want to get better. And I wish I didn't have to put so much time in this. But this is also my passion from other than coding. And what he told me was, a CS degree, honestly, is just a paper. <laughs> but more than just a degree, what's more important is what you were able to do at that school. What you were able to learn. And that is it's interesting. It's funny. <laughs> and he told me. Chris, a CS degree means nothing because I know people who have a CS degree who are software engineers and you know more than them. And I'm like, what? Like, what? <laughs> You're crazy, man. But what he was talking about was how these people who have a piece of paper don't even code anymore. And I know more than them. And like, so at the end of the day, like a piece of paper is just a piece of paper. And we don't need that to validate ourselves. But what we need to be able to do is that we need to be able to prove ourselves. Because as a self-taught engineer, while people who have a degree were able to learn all these things in school, what we're doing is that we're playing catch-up. Catch-up in, okay, what the heck is an algorithm? How the heck do you write to an API? Write a call, Do a call an API? How do you do all these things with data and um, databases and algorithms and et cetera? What the heck? How do you make things mobile friendly? Well, actually, they don't even teach that in computer science. Some schools do now, actually, which is very interesting, which is really good. We're playing catch up, but that's it. We just have to work harder, but that's it. People, you know, actually, I was talking to someone on Discord the other day. He was messaging me. No, it was actually on my Twitch channel. So hit me up on twitch.com slash real I wasn't trying to rhyme. And he was telling me how his own family members and friends were telling him, you don't have a degree. You're too old to learn code. He's my age. And he said, because you don't have a degree, you'll never catch up with those young kids. You'll never be able to do what they do. And that blew my mind away. And I'm like, what? These people who don't even have a degree in CS, who don't even know how to code, who don't do what we do, how are they able to determine what you can or cannot do if they don't have experience in the industry whatsoever? It's just their own thoughts, their own thinking, their own opinions. It's just opinions. But don't let those opinions determine if you can do it or not, if you can make it, you know? And I blew my mind away. And I'm like, dude, don't listen to that. Don't let that discourage you from making it. It doesn't matter if you're learning code at the year at 31 years old because, I mean, dang, I'm turning 32, dudes. I'm getting old. I'm an old Asian man. Yes, we don't. I don't have a CS degree. You may not have a CS degree. You most likely don't, but that's just a piece of paper. At the end of the day, you prove if you can do it. We have to work harder. We have to prove ourselves. But doesn't succeeding make success t taste even that much more sweeter it does and so the cs degree's not dying it's not at all no way jose man no way jose but yes we have to prove ourselves we just have to do more things but to be honest what we're doing as engineers as web developers pretty much front-end engineers back-end engineers all of that self-taught Everyone who has a CS degree, if they're working with anything in the web, they like they have to learn it. They don't know what we know. They don't know what we know. Actually, when you think about this, for example, let's say Facebook or let's say maybe Google. There are thousands, tens of thousands, tens of tens of tens of thousands of engineers at those companies. But what kind of engineers? Software engineers. But how many web developers? A lot less. A lot less if not just hundreds of web developers compared to tens of thousands of software engineers. Why? Because software engineers only know what they learn at school. Software engineering, that's what they're working on, right? But what we do with things in the web, what do we do are things that are really mainly self-taught, front engineers, everything self-taught there. Now, I'm not here to bash anyone a CS degree. I wish I was able to obtain a CS degree, but school wasn't for me. I suck at school. I hate school. I never want to go back to school. I hate studying, except when it comes to code. At the end of the day, my main point is that don't let a piece of paper or a title of having a computer science degree determine your future because that does not matter in this industry. That does not determine your future. You might get paid a little less than a software engineer, but guess what? You didn't have the debt they have. You didn't have to go through school they had. Just do it. You got this. For me, I'll tell you this. I'm telling you, I'm in the same boat as you. I feel like I am. I feel like I know nothing. 
I feel like I'm so behind. I mean, the people I work with in the office who are developers, I mean, they have degrees. I don't. Except my senior backend developer, which is sick. <laughs> but everyone else has a degree, um, but not me. You know, well, technically also everyone's self-taught in a way because everything we do now, we had to learn our own, you know. So I'm in the same boat as you. Just keep going, guys. Don't give up. Keep going. And keep that hope up of living that Des life. But anyway, guys. All right. I'm going to end the video right here or the podcast right here. This will be the end of today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan and this is Dev's Life. Remember the code, create and live. Peace out.